Dr. Konturek, uh, there's been a buzz lately about fecal microbiota transplantation. Can you explain to us what it is? Well, it's, um, it is a quite new method to treat um, uh, patients with uh, some infectious or inflammatory bowel diseases. And um, the fecal microbiota therapy is uh, infusion of um, feces from uh, the healthy person called donor to the gut, um, the recipient gut, um, in order to um, um, establish the um, homeostasis in, in, in the gut microbiota. So, um, with this method, we can um, treat some infectious diseases, especially Clostridium difficile infection, which is one of the most common infectious diseases of the gut. And um, uh, there are also um, some approaches to um, treat with this method patients with, uh, with other um, chronic disease of gut, like inflammatory bowel disease or uh, irritable bowel disease. In recent years, we made um, uh, great progress in understanding of uh, bacteria in the gut, called gut microbiota, and uh, that's why it's, we have a renaissance of this method once again. We uh, understand much better mm -hmm. how this method works, and uh, there were a lot of studies with uh, uh, fecal microbiota transplantation in Clostridium difficile infection uh, and they showed very uh, high uh, efficiency of, of this method in patients. Okay, you mentioned about Clostridium difficile infections and in medical school we were aware that this occurred in children and caused uh, a condition called pseudomembranous colitis which is uh, rapidly fatal. Um, but nowadays, uh, it seems that Clostridium difficile infections are more common in adults. Is that true? Absolutely, it's true. It is uh, the most common infectious disease in adults older than 65 years. There are uh, many explanations for it. We know that with aging, the gut microbiota changes. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the gut of older people is much more susceptible uh, to uh, infection with Clostridium difficile. And the, another explanation is of course the use of drugs, especially the antibiotics. Mm -hmm. And uh, the drugs uh, um, for therapy of, of acid called PPIs, mm -hmm. proton pump inhibitors. Mm -hmm. uh, so this, these two groups of drugs are involved in the um, development of disease and pathogenesis of this condition. So what are the general indications, you would say, these days? And where do you think that fetal microbiota transplantation will be indicated for in the future? Well, first of all, uh, the most important indication, indication for treatment uh, with FMT is uh, the recurrent or severe Clostridium difficile infection. The first episode of Clostridium difficile you don't have to use this method, you can treat it with antibiotics. But the problem is the recurrence of this disease. Mm -hmm. So the antibiotics are not working anymore so good. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is much better to perform this method to restore uh, the homeostasis in the gut. Mm -hmm. So the patient can be cured of this disease and he will not get any more relapses. Mm -hmm. This is very important. Now we have evidence that the changed gut microbiota is responsible for this. So with FMT we can restore the homeostasis and we can help some patients. So the studies on FMT in these two groups of disease are going on now in the world. Okay. Uh, what about the procedure itself? How do you screen for a healthy stool or a healthy donor? Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, the, uh, screening of the, of the donor is very important because we don't want to harm the recipient, the patient. 
Um, so um, uh, the donor has to undergo a special blood and stool test. Mm -hmm. uh, there are also some questionnaires uh, considering um, the antibiotic therapy mm -hmm. in the last three months, chronic diseases like allergy, cancer, and so on. So all these patients with those type of disease are excluded. Yeah, but uh, this, uh, the suitable donor, of course, uh, need more uh, additional uh, blood test and uh, stool test. First of all, hepatitis and mm -hmm. HIV mm -hmm. has to be excluded, but also other um, infectious uh, diseases uh, in gut. What do you think would be the best case to convince physicians that this is actually a method that works and that they could apply in their practice? and that they could apply in cases of emergency like toxic microcolon. Yes, I think the uh, most convincing results we obtain in patients with toxic megacolon uh, due to Clostridium difficile infection. Uh, so uh, um, we can cure the patients mm -hmm. and um, um, the, the Sometimes this is the only one, op the only options for, for patients to survive. So I have some cases where uh, patients were, were not able to be cured with antibiotics, even with uh, uh, very expensive fidaxomycin. Mm -hmm. And we stopped uh, this therapy and the f fecal tr transfer was uh, performed form and uh, the patient was healed. Thank you very much, Dr. Konturek, um, the world's experts in fecal microbiota transplantation, Thank you very Dr. Much. Peter Konturek. Thank you.